Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. So if you guys have not seen my face before, go ahead and click that subscribe button below because it helps me out so much. I also have an Instagram that I will be promoting until the day I die, so go follow me there. But as for today's video, I am super excited to be doing the assumptions about me tag thing that everyone had been doing like a few months ago on YouTube. And I actually ended up asking you guys for your assumptions about me on Instagram, I think twice before, but it was like quite a few months ago. And I just never ended up filming or posting that video, so we're gonna do it today because uh, I ran out of ideas. So here we are. So I asked you guys on my Instagram for any assumptions that you had about me, positive or negative, and now we're gonna read them and I'm gonna tell you what was correct and what wasn't. And um, yeah, please be nice to me. Rejection affects you more than you show. Um, so we're gonna start off really deep, I guess. I mean, yes and no. I think depending on the rejection, it hurts a little bit more, but like in the videos where I talk about my rejections, like that's how I am, I'm pretty positive about it. Um, I got a rejection like two days ago that kind of hit home a little bit more just because I really thought I was gonna get it and I didn't. So that one, I didn't make a video about it, but I did post a soppy Instagram poem. So uh, there's that. But other than that, honestly, yes and no. It, it really goes either way. But usually what I post on YouTube is really what I'm feeling what I post on my social media is actually how I'm feeling about the rejection, so just trying to be honest with y'all. You are a Weasley. Confirmed. You are insecure of your voice. I wouldn't say I'm insecure about it. I think that there's a lot of things that I want to be able to work on and that there's like goals that I have that I want to achieve, but I don't think I'm insecure about it just because it is my job and it's my livelihood, so I, I've gotten past the insecure phase of being scared of singing in front of people, although I really hate it when people ask me to like, hey, can you sing your singer, right? Oh my god, that grinds my gears. You wish you were a witch, lol, orange heart. Um, um, <laughs> I love this question because like slightly I guess I'm literally watching Charmed right now But I love all the things spooky and I've always like gravitated towards like Halloween town and like wicked and all that stuff So I mean sure we'll go with yes. I'm, I'm not sure. Yes <laughs> You weren't always a morning person slash had to force yourself to become one. I think that's true I wasn't always a morning person, but now I really think that I am uh, But I think I'm honestly an everything person like I I love the mornings But I also love staying up late, but I think just being in college and having the jobs that I do, I have to get up early, so I've just kind of become a morning person. And coffee helps too. <laughs> you are a very relatable person and very outgoing, especially when it comes to following your dreams. That's so sweet. I would like to hope so. Thank you, that's really sweet. I think so. I mean, I'm very, I think I'm outgoing, depending on the situation. I'm like outgoing and not outgoing in the same way, so. Is that an answer? I think so. You are a friend to the world and always find the good in people. Aubrey, you're the nicest person ever, I love you. I hope so, I think so. I would like to think that, that makes me happy. <laughs> That you don't like a lot of attention, you're a little shy. This is actually very correct. I don't love attention except when like I am in a, a mind space that, that I'm going to be getting attention. Like I even when I'm on a stage, it's fine. Like that's normal. But like if someone's like talking about me or like my coworkers will sometimes like make fun and uh, like play my YouTube videos while I'm sitting at the table for lunch and it oh my god, I have to like run away because I hate it because then everyone's like looking at me and it makes me really self-conscious. So not the biggest fan of that, but like on a stage and stuff, like I feel like that doesn't count in that circumstance because we're all used to that. You're absolutely always positive and I don't know how you do it, Laura. Not always. I really wouldn't say that I'm always positive and there's a lot of things in life that get me down and I've gone through a lot of things. Oh, my voice just cracked. Hello, sickness. I've gone through a lot of things in life that I think have shown me that it just is better to be positive because like we, you know, we only have a certain amount of days in in life so I just think living each living each day positively is the best way to go about it so thank you that's really sweet I would assume you want to move to a theater city like NYC or LA one day actually I really don't like if if NYC happened I think I would only be able to live there for like a year I just don't love that lifestyle and it's super super it's just really really difficult and it's really expensive um, I want to live somewhere where there's like nature and I, right now I don't really have it either in Florida and I'm just dying to get away to some mountains but I I mean, maybe, but I would be for like a really short amount of time. You're more of a cat person than a dog person. This is true in the fact that I understand cats better, but I still love dogs, but I don't understand them because I, I grew up with a dog and with cats, but I was really only like cognizant what was going on when I had cats. Like I had a dog when I was super, super young. So I know how cats work. I don't know how dogs work, but I still love them equally. I just don't get it. <laughs> You're not an actual redhead. Got him, you're right. <laughs> if you weren't in musical theater, you'd either be a therapist or a scientist. I don't think that would be true. I've never taken a psychology class ever in my life. Science was always not my like favorite subject, although like I like biology, I guess. But no, I probably honestly would have ended up somewhere in social media, i.e. I still kind of did end up somewhere in social media. And by end up, I mean I'm 23. But yeah, probably not either of those. You've never played sports. Slightly correct. <laughs> I did cheerleading when I was in third grade. And after that, 
No, I didn't really do sports, besides the ones that I was like forced to do. Although in elementary school, I like was playing a game of kickball and I kicked the ball like super hard and it like flew. And like that moment I was like, oh my God, I'm sporty, I'm athletic. So I made my parents go buy me a kickball for Christmas and I kicked it sometimes. Um, but no, not very, not very uh, sporty. You dream of a fairy tale wedding, correct? I already have like the location kind of, it's gonna be in a forest, there's gonna be fairy lights, a white horse, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, definitely in a forest. I don't know where the forest would be, but somewhere where there's like pine trees, because I love, I love a pine tree. For some reason, I feel like you're not very close with your family. Um, I would say this like a yes and a no. I think over the years I've gotten closer with my family because when I was like 18 and moody and a teenager and had just got back from living abroad, it was just, it was difficult. Like we didn't match very well, but now we both kind of understand each other. Like me and my parents understand each other a lot better. So I think we've gotten closer than we have been. So yeah, all good, all positives. That you're an overall happy and positive person. Generally, yeah. Pretty much. That's like my mantra on here and like my life is positivity, so yay. <laughs> You're totally behind the times because you haven't started a Hades Town obsession yet. Correct. I actually haven't, I still haven't listened to Hades Town. I was going strong and I started listening to Six and I got like halfway through that one day. And then the new Taylor Swift album dropped and I, sorry, I had to, I had to commit my, the next like four weeks of my life to that. So see you in a month, maybe Hades Town. <laughs> I will try, I promise though. I heard it's really great. You know every musical song ever. Incorrect. However, honestly, basically. You've always had pretty good control of your singing voice. Voice. Yes and no. I would say that like I knew how to sing from pretty early age and that like I would just mimic a lot of people that I really liked But I, I would I wouldn't say control would be the right word because like oh my god If you heard me singing pulled my freshman year of high school Rough. You're a good gift giver. That's so sweet. Yes and no. I'm also a procrastinator So like I want to get a good gift for someone and if I could find it I'm super excited about it But I also wait till the last minute to get gifts, which is definitely a fatal flaw of mine You want to be on Broadway as a lead. I mean, yeah, who doesn't want that? But like that's not like my overall goal in life but I mean if someone's like here go play this lead role in Broadway I mean, I guess. You don't like surprises. Very true, I hate surprises. I'm someone who like thinks about the worst possible scenario. So if someone's like, hey, I need to tell you something, but they don't tell me what it is right then, I get such bad anxiety. So I'm not a huge surprise person if I know there's a surprise coming, but I don't hate it if someone's like, oh my God, I got you a puppy, but I had no idea that they were gonna get me something in general. So yes and no, I guess. You're not looking to be in a relationship right now. And that question was asked quite a few times of like, oh, you're too busy to be in a relationship. And that's like super true. That's super true. I think I like got to this point where I was on my dating apps and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I just can't find anybody. And then I realized, wait, I really don't want to right now. I think if it comes out organically and if I have like a meet cute with somebody and it like all works out and everything's like, oh my God, magical. Yeah, why not? Sure. Okay. But I'm not super looking right now because I literally just so busy at the moment. I'm like really happy being single. Every adult is either a laundry person or a dishes person. And I think you're a dishes person. Honestly, I'm really bad about doing both of these things. It literally just took me forever to do all my laundry. I just did it. Um, Ryan and I are pretty good about like splitting the dishes. So like he loads the dishes into the dishwasher and then I take them out and then we just play that cycle. So like that's been pretty good, but we're both also not great about doing that either. So, you know, just comes with, comes with time, I guess. You're a soprano. Correct. I am. Yes. Hello. You would love to visit Ireland. Super correct. I want to visit Ireland, Scotland, and just like overall like the UK and Britain and all of the stuff. I've never been over in that area. I've only like been like south of there in the like rest of Europe area. So I haven't like gone to the gone to the islands up there, but I would, yes, I would love to do that. You grew up in a non-religious home. Um, semi-correct. My family was pretty religious early on in my life and then we just kind of didn't do it anymore. So yes and no, I guess, but really no, honestly no. You're a morning shower. Um, actually, oh, they're cutting grass outside my window. You're a morning shower, not Really, it, I really just shower when I'm sweaty and I'm usually sweaty at night because I sweat all day and then I have to go to bed so I usually shower at night. But I do like to shower in the morning because I feel like, like nice and refreshed. You're a closeted introvert. I would say that's pretty true, but I definitely think I, I go on both sides. But I think I'm a little bit of both, like introvert and extrovert. I think of both. Can that, that's a thing, right? I think that's a thing, but that's what I am. You're a Hufflepuff in terms of Hogwarts houses. Actually, no, I'm not. Um, I identify as a Gryffindor. Gryffindor, hello? No. I identify as a Ravenclaw, but I think I definitely have Gryffindor and Hufflepuff tendencies. As for Slytherin, I think I've only gotten that result once on one of my tests, and I was super like astounded that that had come up because I don't think I'm anything like a Slytherin. Not that I don't like Slytherins, I just don't think, don't think I'm one of them yet. You like horror movies. Actually, I don't know if I do or not. I got like really scared as a child watching like scary movies, so I never really would watch them like later on. Like I was definitely a Halloween Town kind of person and not a um, like Saw type of person, but I think I would like 
them now because I realized I don't really get jump scared at things. The parts of the movies that like I wouldn't like when I was younger are like the creepy music leading up to like this thing that's gonna pop out at you. But I don't really get jump scared anymore, so I think I would like them now. I should give it a shot, but I still like Halloween Town, so. So this is going to be my last one because this video is getting a bit too long, but thought I'd leave it on a note. I don't know what kind of note this is. A good note. It's gonna be a good note. You found it really easy to become vegan. XXX. X is kisses? I think it's kisses. Yes. So you found it really easy to become vegan. Actually, yes. Basically, long story short, I was a freshman in college. My roommate was vegan. I wanted to go vegan for a week. So I did it. And then during that week, I watched a bunch of documentaries and I said, Oh, I guess I'm vegan for life now. Basically stuck with it. I've had a couple slip ups since then, but like only with like muffins and stuff. And I was at a summer camp and really couldn't eat anything. But other than that, like I've stayed vegan the, basically the whole time and it's really not been difficult. I think the hardest parts are getting your family to like agree with your choices or just like do that whole ish, which is another video in general. But overall, yeah, being vegan is actually super, super easy and was really easy for me because I didn't really eat a lot of meat anyway. So yeah, pretty easy. So those aren't all the assumptions that you guys sent me, but those are quite a bit of them. So I hope that I got in yours. If not, I'll probably go and do a Q&A later on this month into September or something. I think that could be fun, like a t turning 24 q and I don't know, my birthday's September 19th. That could be fun. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. But as for now, I'm going to sign off and um, eat some food because that's what we do in this household. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys are not already, go hit the subscribe button below because it helps me out so much. And I have an Instagram right over here where I post a bunch of things about theme parks and Disney and well, Disney's a theme park, but performing and stuff. So go check it out right over here. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!